Hi, I'm Melissa Macy, and this is another episode of At Home with Child Care Group. So we have been talking a lot about letters, and we're not going to stop until your kiddos are amazing readers, and that will happen in elementary school. So we need lots of ideas to make it fresh and fun and exciting. So today we are going to make our letters using either spaghetti noodles or yarn. for dinner save aside some of the noodles you don't need a lot and let the kiddos play with their food that's super fun because we're not usually allowed to do that today you see that I use my name so these are the most interesting letters for kids to learn and it's a great place to start so if they don't know how to write their name yet um, sometimes it's less intimidating to learn these few letters first before you're like trying to learn the entire alphabet so start here and then next you can move on to their last name. I would suggest making these if you have construction paper or white copy paper. Make, um, I use, I cut these into fours and we're going to use these a lot probably. So it would not be a waste to go ahead and make the alphabet or any of the words you want to work on. Today, I'm just going to show you with my name. We have yarn here and scissors and some of these are already cut and some aren't. So let me get this one for instance. So you're gonna ask the kiddo to make the letter with the yarn. And with yarn, you can actually use glue if you wanted to and it helps it stick down, but then you won't be able to reuse your cards. So that's just up to you. But they can try to trace the letter with their yarn. And this is really good for hand-eye coordination and it might help if you tape the letters down, but they're gonna love the noodles. So if you're willing to let them play with noodles, I would do that. And it's the same concept. They're, it's actually easier than the yarn because they're a little sticky and a little wet. So they actually are nicer to our table. They're also gonna think it's hilarious to cut the noodles with scissors because this is just not what we usually do. This is also really great for sensory integration to put their fingers in the noodles and feel it. Those kids that are bull in the china shop kind of kids, they need this input and it'll help regulate their nervous system and keeps them happier longer. So there's lots of benefits to doing this. Anyway, pick your letters and practice them and let's be creative on ways to make learning fun. Remember, you're your child's first and best teacher. I'm Melissa Nisi. This has been another episode of At Home with Child Care Group. You're welcome.